What's up, Boulder? So growing up, I had this awesome toy. It was a tape recorder, and it came with a cassette called Discover a World of Sounds. And it was blank on one side, because that's what you were supposed to do, walk around and record the world around you. Well, eventually, I realized that it was a little boring recording chirping birds or your sister screaming as you stuck the microphone in her face. And so I started to use that blank side to record music. And this is where my fascination with playlists began. You might remember what it was like waiting by the radio for your favorite song to come on and hoping that you, know, you got the timing right, using your neatest penmanship inside those tiny lines. Well, years later, I got my very first job as a radio DJ, and fame and fortune eluded me, but I did uh, have now a platform to create the never-ending playlist, and I've discovered that it's actually a great metaphor for life, creating a playlist. It's all about expressing yourself, about weaving things together meaningfully, and finding joy in the little connections. So if you want to create a great life playlist, here's my advice. Track one, don't be cool. Trying to impress other people with your stellar musical taste is way too intimidating. Release yourself from trying to be cool and tune into what makes you feel cool. That, those songs that make you feel like a boss are trying to tell you something. Growing up, I wasn't cool, but you know, it was a gift because when you're not trying to create an impression, you really got freedom to figure out who you're gonna be and that freedom is a gift. Track two, show your feels. When you hear a song that says exactly what you cannot, that feeling is magical, it's eerie and wonderful, and it helps you connect to who you are. Motown producers used to make their singers record a half a step higher than what they were used to so that you could better hear the emotion. It's supposed to make you feel something, and tuning into that can really tell you a lot about who you are. Track three, you do you. Yeah, the who asked the question, who are you? Who, 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 who? That music that makes you feel cool is a way to tune into your authentic self. It's really about self-acceptance, and only you can amplify that. The reward for conformity is that everyone likes you except yourself. Taste can be polarizing like rock stars. So whether you're a parrot head or a Swifty, you gotta own it because the music you love stays in your head for a long time. The songs we love stimulate the release of neurochemicals anyway, but between the ages of 12 and 22, when our, our brains rapidly develop, those songs become hardwired, so love what's uniquely you. Track four, vibe your tribe. If you put a playlist on and someone is looking at you like this, they are not your people. I don't care who they are or how long you've known them, move on. Life is too short for other people's expect expectations that you have to match. Keep people around you that get you enough that they don't judge your chain smokers Willie Nelson mashups. You know, surround yourself with people that light you up and that will be there dancing right alongside you. And finally, track five, keep them guessing. <laughs> like great lives, you know, great playlists include the unexpected. Being one note is all really boring, but also an insult to the smorgasbord of choice. So mix genres, the old and the new, and the classy with the crass, and keep it fresh. We go through a musical taste freeze around age 33. When what we hear doesn't line up with what we think is good, we revert to what's familiar, sad. So, wage a war against your own musical atrophy. Yeah, right? By inviting in the new. Ask a kid what they're listening to. You know, go see a live show. Find ways to keep it fresh. Because I know that you can say, Alexa, play 90s hip hop for hooking up. But I think creating playlists still matter. So, uh, neuroscientist Daniel Ledevin says that whenever human beings come together in life, music is there. It's the soundtrack to life's epic moments. Like creating a life of substance and meaning, it takes time, effort, and vulnerability to create an amazing playlist. You can coast by on an algorithm or somebody else's definition of good, or you can create it yourself. So share the music that makes you come alive. Let people in with songs that matter and connect with the lyrics that touch your most human self. Turn it up to 11.
play on. 